do is take you around and show you inside. And there's a beautiful swimming pool from the back here. And then there's your salon inside. Oh la la, very beautiful. All along the back here. All the snacks in the back there. Drinks, pop me, many things available. Beautiful white sand beach. Have the temple statue over in the distance there. Nice collection of ladies' dresses, men's singlets all on the wall there. All sizes available. Men's, ladies, children. On shop now, we have a place called Kebabs and Curries, called Krusty Crab. Fabulous place, this. There's Krusty Crab there. Have some live entertainment. This is usually on the weekends. Nice, beautiful seating area here. Good afternoon from Bali, Indonesia. So today I'm here in the South Kuta area of Bali on a street called Jalan Warner Sagara, just across the street from the entrance to German Beach. And what I'm gonna feature in today's video for you is an accommodation called the Sulis Beach Hotel. Okay, so for those of you that are looking for an accommodation close to the beach here in the Kuta area of Bali, then maybe today's video is going to be for you. So what I'm going to feature in today's video is an accommodation called the Sulis Beach Hotel. Uh, what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to take you inside and show you the really impressive room types available here. And what's the most impressive part of the hotel is the rooftop swimming pool, which offers 360 degree views over the city, over um, German Beach. All in all, it's just a really fabulous views from the rooftop. So after finished inside the hotel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you across the street to German Beach. On German Beach, you're going to find a nice collection of um, restaurant with rungs available. There's also a little shopping market on the beach there. After I finish showing you German Beach, I'm going to take you onto the street of Jalan Warner Sagara, show you the restaurant with rung and shop options available on the street there. So without any further ado, let's go and get started and share with you the Sulis Beach Hotel. Okay, so there's a full view of the Sullis Beach Hotel and Spa from across the street. Just up this way, this is Jalan Warner Sagara, where you're going to find all your rungs, restaurants, and heading up to Jalan Kartika Plaza and Lippo Mall. Just across the street from the hotel, this is the main entrance to um, German Beach or Pantai German. Now we're going to take you across to the hotel. So there's the name up above there. Just down to the side here, they've also got the name on the sign there. Just down to the side here, you've got car parking for cars and motorbikes in the basement there. And these impressive statues sat on the wall here. Oh la la. Wow. That's a goat in the back there tiger here and then just inside here is a main uh, lobby area so we have seating in the lobby here some seating here also and then just in the back there is a main reception desk area okay so just another view on the um, reception lobby area have this beautiful impressive painting up above there painting decoration all around and then just in the back here we have elevators to all the rooms Okay, so this is a deluxe room here at the Sullis Beach Hotel. This is room 3103. It's in the corridor this way. We have the corridor this way, back to the elevators. There's a number on just by the side of the door, 3103. We'll take you around and show you inside. Okay, so just as we step foot inside the room, we're greeted by twin beds. This room option is available in double bed option also. We have bedside tables either side. We have bedside lighting up above the bed. Just give you a zoom in. And just by the side of the bed there, we have a nice soft cushion seating sofa. We just give you a zoom in on your table by the side of the bed. Telephone on this side, multi socket power point, wooden headboard. Beautiful wallpaper behind the wall, immaculately clean bedding, nice presentation on the bed, beautiful um, towel presentation there. 
as a table on the opposite side of the bed just in the back there we have two multi socket power points another close up on a single bed here there's another angle on your bed okay so just turning around from a bed and on the opposite side of the beds we have a huge flat screen tv international channels provided wi-fi also provided we'll start from left to right so just in the corner here um, by the um, balcony area we have a desk um, area soft cushion seating um, chair have multi-socket power points on the wall there tissue box and then just there is a Samsung flat screen TV. We have a glass shelf underneath, many power points underneath the um, TV there. And then just next to the long um, line next to the TV, we have a connecting room, um, connecting deluxe room through the door there. So just below the door there, we have a um, table for our suitcases. And then just uh, moving over to the side there and going back to the door as we entered the room, we have an open wardrobe area. So we'll start from left to right. So just down here in the base, we have a waste bin. Just here, we have a nice big um, refrigerator. Nice and clean inside. Two bottles of aqua provided also there. And then just moving up to the top here, we have a kettle. We have two cups, some tea, coffee, sugar, cream are provided. Just to the side there is a power point, lighting above. Some cabinets up above there. And then just pulling back out there, there is our air conditioning, vented air conditioning up above. Now zooming back in on the wardrobe. So just moving down, we have two metal rails in the top, a collection of wooden coat hangers provided with an umbrella in case it rains here in Bali. Just down in the base there, we have some shelving. And then just moving to the side here, we have some more shelving up above. We have a cabinet here, which houses a safety deposit box. And then just down below the safety deposit box, more shelving, some beach towels there also. Okay, so just opposite our uh, wardrobe area is our entrance to a bathroom. So we'll take you inside the bathroom. So just as we step foot inside the bathroom, we're greeted by an absolutely huge mirror on the wall. Have good lighting up above there. There's a wash basin down below on the shelf. Just in the base there, we have a waste basket. We'll start from left to right. So we have a makeup mirror on the wall there. We have a hairdryer. There's a close up on a wash basin, immaculately clean. Just to the side here, we have some hand soap. We have some amenities there in the tray, some um, tissue, multi socket power points on the wall there. And then just coming up here, we have a metal towel rail. Okay, so just moving from a wash basin, just in the back there, we have a toilet also with bum wash. Just on the right hand side there, you have some hand soap also. And then just next door to a toilet, we have a glass and show closed shower cubicle. Just below the shower there, we have a, a towel. Just on the wall here, we have some towel hooks. And then just as we step foot inside the um, shower, we have an overhead rain shower up above there. Handheld shower also some body cleaner and shampoo have some uh, trays in the side there handrail also immaculately clean in the base okay so now we're going to take you out onto the balcony so we have curtains that draw across um, the door the balcony doors here just give you another full view on your room before we step out onto the balcony oh la la beautiful and then now it's plastic doors, we have a lock on the door and then just as we step foot out onto the balcony we have two wooden chairs, a wooden table with a granite top and then just over to the side there we have a um, towel rack rail and then just from a towel rack rail is a balcony and then there's the street uh, down below there's the entrance to the beach over there Okay, so these rooms along here are all the deluxe rooms, however these are ground level floors, so the only difference between these rooms and the room that we featured in the video is this balcony out here is on the ground floor, have the artificial grass, and then you just come around the corner to the reception area. Okay, so this is a family room here at the Solace Beach Hotel, this is th room 3301, this is the corridor here, here's the elevators just opposite a room. There's the room number 3301, 
key card activation on the door we'll take you around and show you inside okay so just as we step foot inside the room you can see we've got a queen size or king size bed in the middle of two single beds we have bedside tables in between the beds bedside lighting up above the beds we have a soft cushion seating sofa here at the foot of the beds facing the tv we'll zoom in on the beds first of all so just on the single bed here we have some beautiful um, towel decoration there looks like a dog have a table by the side of the beds here in between the two uh, we have a plug socket point, multi socket plug socket point on the side there. Immaculately clean bedding, great presentation. Oh la la, look at the towels again there on this bed. And then just making our way over to the final corner, we have a table again in between the beds here. Telephone, two multi socket power points in the back there. Immaculately clean bedding, beautiful towel presentation again on the beds. And then there's another angle on your beds. Okay, okay, so there's a soft cushion seating sofa again from this side and then just as we're turning around here, just opposite our beds, we have a flat screen TV, um, international channels provided, Wi-Fi also provided. We'll start from right to left, however, just before we forget, it's vented air conditioning up above there. And then just in the corner here, we have a wooden desk with a soft cushion seating chair, tissue box, some information there some power sockets on the wall there and then just moving along we have a huge Samsung flat screen TV glass shelf down below some power sockets above there the glass shelf and then just moving across here we have an area for a suitcases it's another angle on your TV and your desk area and then just here in the corner we have a um, open wardrobe and refrigerator so we've got a big open wardrobe so we'll start from right to left so just down below here we have a refrigerator nice and clean inside four bottles of aqua four glasses there in the refrigerator and then just moving up above we have four cups four saucers tea coffee sugar provided kettle in the back there power point on the side of the wall lighting up above some shelving up above in the wardrobe and then just down below here we have an open wardrobe for you hanging your clothes two metal rails in the top there some wooden coat hangers have an umbrella in case it rains there on the side in Bali and then just down in the base we have some shelving and then just to the side we have an um, enclosed cabinet here which houses our laptop style safety deposit box another shelf up above some shelving in the base there and then just down below we have some pool towels okay so just pulling back because we couldn't see too clearly so it's vented air conditioning up above there there's another vent up in the ceiling there also there's a door that we entered the room and then just turning to the right as we enter the room is our entrance to a bathroom so we have a door with a, a mirror on the door so you can use that as a dressing style mirror and then just in the back there we have a huge mirror and a wash basin so a waste basket in the base there it's a close up on the wash basin we'll start from left to right immaculately clean the wash basin have some plug sockets on the wall there tissue box some amenities in the tray there have some hand soap here it's another on a immaculately clean wash basin just over to the side there we have a hair dryer have a makeup mirror on the wall absolutely huge mirror lighting up above and just to the side here we have a uh, metal towel rail and then just turning back now and over in the um, side there we have a toilet so we have a toilet also comes with bum wash hand sanitizer or hand wash on the wall also and then just turning around and on the right of the door as we enter the bathroom is like a, a glass enclosed shower cubicle towel down below glass door with a towel rail on the door just up above we have an overhead rain shower handheld shower some shampoo and body cleanser on the wall there some trays on the side there in the wall have a handrail immaculately clean in the base okay so this room has absolutely huge enormous windows and two big doors opening out onto the balcony we'll take you out there now 
Just before we do, I'll give you a full span again on your room. It's a very big, good sized room, this one. And then now we're going to go through the doors. So the, I think they're plastic doors or metal, and then we're outside onto a balcony. So just outside on the balcony here, we have two wooden chairs, soft cushion seated, wooden table with a granite top. Just over in the corner there, we have a bamboo style towel rack rail. Another towel rack rail on the far side. And then there's your view down below. There's the beach entrance over there. Okay, now just up here on the fourth floor at the um, restaurant. This is where you're going to be served your breakfast. These are the elevators here that we've just taken up. There's the sign just to let you know we're at the Sullis Beach Hotel and Spa. And then here's your big restaurant area. Nice collection of wooden tables, synthetic chairs. And it stretches all the way into the back there. So just at the far end of the restaurant now, and then that's going to be where your, all your breakfast is laid out, your buffet breakfast is laid out. Have some windows here at the end, beautiful views out in that direction. You can sit along the side here also. The ocean's just over there. You can see it over in that direction. And there's the entrance to the beach. Okay, so now just here on the rooftop at the Sullis Beach Hotel, um, we're going to show you the swimming pool area now. So we've taken the elevators which are in behind those doors there, have a big seating area up here. This is the views over to German Beach here in this direction, all the trees also. And then now we're going to head over in this direction. So that, there's the stairs leading up to the swimming pool. Just to, just to the right here is some toilet and shower facilities. Some showers in there. Just in the back here we have a little um, section and a climb, climbing apparatus for the kids. Some enclosed area in the back there also. And then now we're going to take you up the stairs into the swimming pool area. So there's the beautiful swimming pool here on the rooftop here at the Sullis Beach Hotel. We have some metal ladders down into the pool there. It's 0.6 metres deep at this end, so it's a shallow pool suitable for the kiddies. Have a collection of sun, uh, synthetic sun lo lounges with umbrellas over to the side there. So another angle on your pool. We have the gorillas with the uh, mouthpieces spewing out the water. And then look at the views all around here. Ooh la la, wow. There's a close-up on your big gorilla there, spitting the water out, ooh la la. And then there's a close-up on your sy synthetic sun lounges, your umbrellas. And there's the views to this side. Okay, so just making our way to the back end of the swimming pool. So the swimming pool depth here is 1.4 metres. Have another metal ladder down into the pool there. There's a close-up on a hippo. There's the view in the back there. Some synthetic sun lounges at the back here also. There's a close-up on a hippo from this direction. And then there's a beautiful swimming pool from the back here. Okay, so just there's a main reception desk area and then just next door to the main reception desk area we have a spa desk area. There's no one there at the moment. We'll just take you through and show you the spa facilities, which is in this direction. So we have some toilets to the left there also. And then this is, this is the salon in this one here. So just in the salon here, we'll slide the door. And then there's your salon inside. Oh la la, very beautiful. Nice area here at the back for having your foot massage and your foot washes, spa. And there's a bed in the back also, super cool in here, air conditioned. And then just from a spa there, we're into a studio here. 
This is where you're going to have your massage, um, full body massage carried out. Stall in the back there. Just a little seating area here at the back also. And then there's lots of equipment in the back. Super cool, air conditioned. So these are all spa rooms all along the side here for your massage and treatments. Okay, so now I've finished my room and facility tour here at the Sulis Beach Hotel. And first of all, I'm going to take you across the street to German Beach and show you what's available there and also give you a look at the beach in itself. And then after that, I'm going to head out onto Jalan Warner Sagara. Okay, so now just coming out of the Sulis Beach Hotel and Spa, we're going to take you directly across the street to G uh, German Beach or Pantai German. There's the name up above there. I'm going to walk through the entrance here. So car parking is 10,000 for cars, 2,000 for motorbikes. The uh, motorbike car parking um, box is over there. The guy we've just walked past. And then we're just going to head in towards the beach now. Okay, so now we're entering the main car parking area. The motorbikes are parked here. The cars are here. And then just all along the back of the beach here, we have a nice big collection of um, warungs if you want snacks and food. All along the back here, all the snacks in the back there, drinks, pop me, many things available. Also some fresh fruit there, have some fresh coconuts, and then there's many warungs all along the side there. So just on the opposite side of all a collection of warungs at the back there, I brought you over to this side now just to show you there's a little market section in the back here. Also another, some more little warungs as well. Get your snacks and simple foods from. And then just in the back here, we have a nice collection of local market um, stores selling all your typical tourist goods. Nice collection of men's, ladies clothing there. Some barley bintang towels, some bags here. Love, but I love barley bags, some singlets for men, some ladies' dresses there, some men's t shirts, shorts, kids, ladies, men's. Come to my shop, this lady says. All along the side there. Okay, so just over from a wong, rungs now, a tourist goods shops over in the corner there. This is where we entered um, to the entrance to the beach. Have some toilets to the side there, five thousand, and then now we're on to German Beach. Fishing boats at the back of the beach here on the sand, and then you've got many fishing boats in the ocean. So this is midday, so it's empty now. This beach is usually going to be busy around about sunset time or just before sunset. Beautiful white sand beach. Have the temple statue over in the distance there. Nice collection of sun lounges at the back here. We'll just take you and zoom in on those. So here's a close up on your sun lounges, synthetic sun lounges, soft cushion tops, umbrellas. They are for rent, however, there's no one around. There's a beautiful pan of your white sand beach. Okay, so just coming out of the Sullis Beach Hotel now, uh, we've taken you across and shown you German Beach. There's obviously some eating options available there at German Beach. However, now we're going to take a walk along Jalan Warner Cigar and show you what restaurant, warung and shop options are available there. Okay, so just next door to a Circle K, we have a place called S.A. Caf since 1991, this place says. Here's the Indonesian food. So some grilled fish there in the base. And then just inside, out um, by the roadside, we have a nice simple collection of tables and chairs. to the side, right by the roadside there. Here's the opening hours on the doors. Here's some of the information. And then we'll take you around and just give you a quick look inside the cafe. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice collection of simple tables and chairs. Super cool in here, air conditioned. Okay, so just from SA CAF now, we're going to continue walking along the street. 
Okay, so just up the street now from the Circle K, K and some um, SA CAF. And now come in line, now we've got another convenience store across the street there called Mini Mart. We have a place called a a and &E Spa, Cigar at a Gung Tattoo Studio. So we're just cut across the street, so the Mini Mart is in the corner there. And then just here we have a tourist goods shop. So a nice collection of handbags and ladies clothes, men's clothing in the back. Also have some suitcases there in case you get overloaded with your luggage. Have some motorbike rental here. And then just here, here's the a &E Spa. That's the treatments available here. And that's just in the back there. And then just next door to Amy Spa, we have Cigar at a Gung Tattoo Studio. It's just in the back there. Also outside Cigar at a Gung Tattoo Studio, we've got more bikes available for rent. Yes, tattoo. Okay, so just from Cigar at a Gung Tattoo Studio, next term um, we have a Love Laundry, small little money changer, and a fruit market and fresh juice shop. So there's the fresh fruit market and fresh juice just in the bash there, uh, back there. Enjoy smoothie bowl, barley, organic on the sign there. And then here's the, here's the juices available. So just from a fresh juice now, just uh, next door literally, we have a place called Love Laundry Express. Two hours ready all the information and there's the laundry in the back there okay so just across the street from love laundry express now and just on this side of the street we have a place called fortune inc tattoo studio in the back there have a coco express which is a convenience store and then just in the back there we have grazier spa just next door to Grazia Spa, we have a place called Bali Moe Salon and Spa. That's also just next door to Grazia Spa. We have a place called Noise Inc. Tattoo Studio in the back there also. Hello, good afternoon, brother. And a taxi service counter here if you need any taxi transportation. And then just next along the line, we have Angita Spa. Okay, so just on from Angita Spa there, we have another tourist goods shop, Ryan shop and laundry. You can also get your laundry done here. Any tourist goods also available in the back there. And then just carrying on along the line, we have a place called, I'm not sure what that's called, whether it's Pema Chick. Looks like a ladies and um, kids boutique style clothing shop nice things available in there okay so just next door to the chick shop here we have a place called Nayaka boutique it's also got a nice collection of um, tourist goods available here some bags So just next door to Nayaka Boutique, we have a place called Vineyard. This is a place for your wines, beers and spirits. And just next door to Vineyard, we have a place called Bali Alternative Spa. So just from Bali Alter Alternative Spa, we're going to turn back in this direction. And just across the street there, we have a motorbike rental. There's the motorbikes for rent here. There's the information. Nice big collection of motorbikes in the back there. Back okay, so just back across the street from a motorbike rental and little tourist goods shop. There's Bali Alternative Spa again in the back. And then next along the line, we have a place called Warner Cigar. This is a small little Warung. There's the name on the board some of the foods available here
Okay, so just next door to a Rung Cigara, just under construction now. They've got other branches um, here in Bali also. We have a Crown Day, Day Spa Beauty and Salon just in the back there. Maybe that's going to be ready by the time as you get to Bali. And just next door from uh, Crown Day Spa, we have another tourist goods shop in the back there. Have a Mini Mart convenience store. Just next door to that we have a Circle K, also a coffee corner, so it's like a coffee shop as well inside there, or you can get takeaway coffee. And then just in the corner here we have a place called Tommy San Shop, this is another tourist goods shop. So Tommy's shop has just given us permission to take you inside and show you around. He also has motorbikes for rent available here at the front, just consult Sammy himself inside the shop. And then just inside the shop, we'll start here. He has a nice collection of hats available here, just outside. Also some magnets inside there. Have some sunglasses on the wall. Shadow. Have some a collection of sarongs there also. Nice collection of ladies' dresses, men's singlets all on the wall there. All sizes available. Men's, ladies', children. Also got a collection of beach shorts available here. For men, kiddies, everything available there. Just in the back here we have some kiddies shirts. Very nice. We also have some kiddies barley shirts in the back there. Many singlet designs available all around the store. Many different t-shirts also. Many things inside here. Okay, so just from a tourist goods shop and a Circle K now, we're going to continue walking up the street. Okay, so just up the street from a Circle K and a tourist goods shop now, we have a place called Kebabs and Curries. This is a fairly new place here, Indian food. It says on the um, side there. Start here, Kebabs and Curries, Indian restaurant and bar. Nice collection of tables and chairs, wooden tables. Not sure what the chairs are made of, but they have soft cushion seating on. There's a um, bar counter area in the back and a nice collection of tables and chairs along the side also. Okay, so just next door to Kebabs and Curries, we have a place called Nuka's um, Restaurant, Indonesian, Mexican, pizza, pasta, Western Indian seafood. It's all on the menu here. Let's take you around and show you inside. So we have a nice collection of wooden tables and chairs in here. Beautiful seating area over here, authentic seating area here. Also have some soft cushion seating area in the back here. And then there's a bar counter area in the back. Okay, so just back outside of Nuka's restaurant. We're moving along the line and coming to the corner now of the street before Jalan Kartika Plaza. And then just across the street there, we have Julian Tara Spa. We have Harakei shop and Laundry Express, tourist goods shop, and then just next door we have Warung Cigar. Okay, so just next door to Warung Cigar, we have a um, place to get your SIM card from, and maybe your phone top up, all your data packages and things from the shop on the corner. And then now we've just arrived um, here at this roundabout. This is going to be Jalan Kartika Plaza. Just across the street we have a um, House of Happiness, seafood and barbecue. I'm just walking on the road, there is a pavement to the left and then you can just continue along the street here. This is going to be heading towards Central Kuta, Lippo Mall along the way, Discovery Mall, Shopping Mall along the way, many restaurant, bar, shopping options all along the street. New Delhi Indian restaurant across the street there also. Have a 24 hour medical centre just next door to the Indian New Delhi and then an Alpha Mart next door to that. Okay, so after just walking in a straight line where we turn the corner at the roundabout down the street there, we've arrived now at Lippo Mall Kuta. There's going to be many restaurants, shopping options available inside here. So we'll just cut across the street and just take you into, um, show you the food court here at Lippo Mall just in front here. Here's a menu, this is a place called Krusty Crab, fabulous place this. There's Krusty Crab there. Have some live entertainment. This is usually on the weekends. Nice, beautiful seating area here. 
There's the mall in the background. Have a Starbucks coffee shop also in the background there. It's food court and many food and get great kids play area down in the basement of Lippo Mall. And now and then we have another nice seating area outside here. This is a place called Bless You Bar and Restro. It's just in the back there. It's the stage again. Have a place called Sushi Barry here. This is a place to get your sushi from. And then just in the back here we have the Brazilian Aussie barbecue. Nice um, food this is, I eat here myself. So here's the menu here at the Brazilian Aussie barbecue, the regular package 255, the Black Angus 355 and the Wagyu uh, has got a promo on. Oh there's the Wagyu package there, 580. Have the giant fishbowl cocktails also here at the Brazilian Aussie barbecue. And then just from a Brazilian Aussie barbecue, we've got one more place here called Max Coffee. It's a coffee shop. Starbucks is in the back there that we've shown you from the other side. And then just in the back here, we um, have the main entrance to Lippo Mall.